Hello guys, what's up? It's Mama Deadhead, and as I promised, I'm bringing you guys a video um, the night of, not a week later. Um, I have to say I really, really like this episode, and I know this is probably going to get me some hate, but I'm not the biggest Daryl fan, I'm not the biggest Carol fan, but I still really, really enjoyed them coming together, their reunion. It was, it was a really nice thing to see. Now, me and my husband kind of argued watching and it was over kind of like the double standard that I talked about in my last video. I totally called that he wasn't going to tell Carol what happened and he didn't. Uh, and my husband was like, oh, you know, I understand where he's coming from, but in the last episode he was kind of pissed at Morgan for not saying anything. And as a lot of people were, he he wasn't, he's not exactly vocal, he doesn't say how he feels about shows, so it's not like it was a huge discussion here. But Morgan did what he did out of respect. Daryl did what he did out of respect. They both knew that, you know, bringing everybody there, knowing what happened, would literally kill her as a person. And like I said, I'm not the biggest Carol fan. If she died, I wouldn't exactly be upset. I'm sorry, guys. But I do have respect for her. She has saved the group. You know, so at a point, I want her to know. But I understand respecting her and stepping back from the situation and saying, like, no, she doesn't need to know right now. Now, another thing that I've seen people discussing is the thing that Richard was going to do. Was it right? In theory, uh, I mean, sacrifice one for the good of the many. It makes it makes perfect sense of, you know, one person is going to die versus 30 people, then you should pick the one all day long. But being that it's one from our group, we, of course, don't want it to happen, and we don't want it to be Carol. So, I mean, I can understand where Richard is coming from, but I can also obviously understand where Daryl is coming from. You don't want to kill Carol. You don't want Carol to die. Nothing of that sort. So I can understand both ends of the deal. And I also actually said it before Daryl did when he said, well, then why don't you? Whenever Richard said, uh, like, I would die for the kingdom. And he said, why don't you? I was like, why don't you? Um, I mean, that would make sense to me. He came up with a plan, so why wouldn't he be the one? But now another thing I wanted to talk about was Rosita's bitchiness obviously carried over into this episode. She said a few... Uh, nasty things and Tara's actually pretty uplifting. She's a character that I've grown to absolutely love in this series. At first she was meh. I liked her. I didn't hate her but now I'm starting to really like her. She's kind of funny. She's quirky. She seems like a person that I want to be friends with. Like how can I be friends with you? You want to hang out? She seems like a really cool person. Um, I mean the character, you know. I mean I'm, <laughs> I'm sure the actress is wonderful. I didn't get a chance to meet her at Walker Soccer Con. But she seems like a really genuine, really funny, nice person. And her little speech was very uplifting. You know, we need to work together. We need to stick together. We don't need to go apart. And of course, Rosita with her, well, then I'll go by myself. To which I also said to the screen, go ahead, bye. <laughs> um, now, I think the last thing, I think it's the last thing I want to talk about was the very first opening scene. Now, in this scene, uh, Morgan stops the guy from hitting Richard with his stick and then Ben basically lays him out and I really like that scene I was like oh snap that was awesome and I don't know I thought it was a cool moment for Ben you know he he kind of got a small triumph when he's like such a small minute person he didn't have a lot of faith in himself at the beginning but now it seems like he's he's building himself up now, while I'm on the topic of Morgan, he got his stick taken away, he asked for it back, um, of course, they said no, and he had that moment with Daryl, and I mean, I think it was, I think it was a good moment, because they are, they are the same in certain ways, they have a great amount of respect for Carol, and if anything happened to her, they would both be absolutely devastated, but, um, I don't know, it's just a very nice moment to have. There are two sides of the same coin, although they believe vastly different things. That being said, Morgan is probably uh, my favorite character alive as of now um, with Abraham gone. 
But um, one thing that I wanted to say, being a Morgan fan doesn't mean that, you know, I, I don't want the fight, I don't want it to happen. Nothing of the sort. Um, actually, to an extent, I understand where Morgan is coming from, and to an extent, I obviously understand where the vast majority of the group comes from, because, like, I think it was Tara. She said um, to Daryl, like, uh, isn't, like, aren't all the people there, like, not bad? Aren't some of them just being held against their will? I don't exactly think it's fair to kill them, um, but I don't think that just capturing Negan is going to fix the problem, like Morgan said. So what I really think needs to happen is um, a median between the two. Capture Negan, keep Negan, and maybe take out some of the big players in his group, uh, but don't go full force because we obviously see what has happened there. We need definitely a much, 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 much better thought out plan so the least amount of people die as humanly possible. Just keep the most deaths out of the equation altogether. Um, obviously people are going to die. When Morgan said that in front of the group, I, he wasn't exactly meaning, no, of course, no, 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 don't fight. He wasn't being like that. He was just being on the real side of things. Like, people are going to die. That's a fact. He, he doesn't want to fight. He doesn't want to do that just because he doesn't want more people to die. He's seen enough already. He doesn't want it to happen. And Rick, like I said, wants to go full force. There has to be a median in between that because, in my opinion, what I think is going to happen, something big has to happen to get the kingdom enjoined. What I think is going to happen is Benjamin, um, you know, uh, Morgan's protege, is going to die. Saviors are going to kill him. Something's going to happen. And while Carol might have been better for King Ezekiel, I think Benjamin would be better to get both Morgan and King Ezekiel in the fight. And I do think that ultimately um, Morgan fighting again and killing will probably be his demise because all of my favorite characters die. And I think that would probably be the most just way for him to go out. Um, that being said, I kind of still stick behind Sasha getting, Sasha's getting supposedly all the screen time coming up and I think she's going to get one of the comic deaths from a character that's not exactly big in the TV show. So I say that because of course I'm starting to become a fan of hers so I think she's going to die. Um, I think that's it for this video. Uh, I really, really, oh, no, one more thing, Winslow. Winslow, freaking awesome, dude. That's, that, my favorite walker, my favorite walker. Easily my favorite walker, it was so, so cool. Um, also, just a little tidbit about this new group. Do I trust them? Nope, absolutely not. Um, Lenny James said that there would be a character betrayal and if anyone, I think it's either this new group or Gregory. I absolutely do not trust them. They just seem really weird. They have a weird way of speaking. They have a weird way of doing things. Don't trust them. Uh, even in um, shaking Rick's hand, I said a thing that made my husband laugh. I was like, oh, oh, you know they're not honest because she used her left hand. She's seen the series of unfortunate events. So she knows that she can go back on her deal if she doesn't use her dominant hand. And he was like, really, Sarah? But, um, yeah, guys, I think that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe this video if you want me to do more videos like this. If you have any topics whatsoever you want me to cover, any in gameplay you want me to do, please don't hesitate to ask me, guys. I, I probably will do your video. Bye, right, guys. Bye.